free movement of uh, workers, uh, freedom to provide services and freedom to establishment may be related to the term um, labor mobility. From the labor law perspective, excluding the discussion of social security, what is the difference between business trips and posting of work? Now, the difference is that uh, in one, the business trips, there is no service which is uh, furnished by uh, uh, neither by the person, by the worker, nor by the employer to whom this person has to report. For instance, that can be uh, a training activity, it can be a, a participation to a fair, etc. Et Why is free movement of services, including the mobility of workers, is so problematic and because there is a tension between uh, between uh, the freedom to provide services, which is one of the fundamental freedoms that we have said, and uh, the application of labor law. I mean, what could be the right balance for you could not be the right balance for me. So there is a margin for discussion. I think that uh, at the core of your question is the issue of the 12 and 18 months. By definition, posting is temporary. By definition, because if it's permanent, it's no longer a posting. It is uh, someone who decides to uh, change domicile and work in another member. When we compare the um, remuneration paid to posted worker and remuneration due to the law of the host uh, of member state, the gross uh, remuneration uh, should be taken into account. The economic activity in Europe and the cross-border economic activity is not a particularly fraudulent uh, activity. We have many, many, many companies from all member states which uh, provide services across the borders in all legality, in all respect of the rules and uh, with, uh, with benefit for everybody. In September, uh, we launched under ELA the first uh, concerted uh, inspection, inspection. Today our dialogue is about future of work mobility in the European Union.